Do you want to take your organization's security monitoring and incident response capabilities to the next level? I'm sure you do. But first and foremost, I'm Demetrius Milebro, cloud advocate here at Veritas. And in TLDR fashion, I'll show you why it's super critical and important for your backup system to have the capability to forward and send logging information to a SIM, SOAR, or XDR platform. So what does SIM stand for? That's Security Information and Event Management. SOAR is Security Orchestration Automation and Response. And XDR is Extended Detection and Response. Why are these important? These platforms are receiving information, really critical information, about your environment, what's happening on your network. It's monitoring and logging and tracking incidents, etc. And it's all going to a place that we call a SOC, a security operations center. And that's where your security analysts are all sitting and standing by. And in a nutshell, let's say they're fighting the bad guys from the central location. Now, what does your backup system come in to play here? All right, let's say you have a backup system. And let's say maybe you have Microsoft Azure Sentinel. First thing you need is to create a workspace ID and a workspace primary key because you need the proper credentials and authentication in order for Sentinel to effectively communicate with the backup system. Send that information. And on the backup, on the backup solution, you've already determined the data source and also the type of audit logging information that you would like to send over. And let's say an alert is raised. And the audit service is standing by and ready for the alert. And so let's say there has been, we want to take one minute of alerts that were generated. And we want to send that information to the SIMSOR or XDR platform. Now, you may even have multiple platforms. So let's say that you, you have Sentinel. And you also have, let's say, an appliance. And it's using us, say, syslog, and also maybe an IT analytics platform. Now, what happens is that an audit alert broadcast message is sent. And that broadcast message, how is it sent? So it utilizes the credentials from Sentinel and it forms a JSON payload from the, the audit event listener, forms that payload and sends that information over to the appropriate device. Why is this important? It's important because I mentioned once again, the number one threat to your data right now is ransomware and malware, phishing attacks, all of the things that can do your organization harm. And making sure that your backup solution is plugged in and sending this critical information to your security operations center so they can also have the information 
that they need in order to spring into action and that your backups are standing by and ready to recover when you need them. So I have more videos that I will be putting out. If you like this video, hit that like button and also subscribe because like I said, we will be rolling out more videos and in TLDR fashion, I'll see you on the next video. Thank you for tuning in.